Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be making some candy apples and these are the ingredients that I will be using. Here I have some light corn syrup, some red apples, some sugar, red food coloring, I have the wooden sticks to hold the apples, I have a candy thermometer, some water and some parchment paper. So let's get started. Okay guys, so the first thing you're going to want to do is wash your apples and then dry them. Once they dry, you want to come and remove these little stems. And then we're going to come with our wooden stick and we're just going to stick it in the middle all the way in, just so it can hold. So you want to twist it, not just push it in because it's going to be more difficult. So just twist it so it's like in the middle. And then you want it to look like this. So we're going to do that to all our apples right now. Okay, so once you have your apples with the wooden sticks in, you're going to set this aside. And then we're going to come and we're going to start with our candy. Okay, guys, so now what we're going to do is take our sugar. We're going to add it into the pot. We're also taking our corn syrup we're adding it in and I'll have all the ingredients and how much I use in the description below okay then we're gonna come and add our water and our red food coloring this is the brand that I use Okay. And be careful because this red food coloring does stain. Okay. Now we're going to mix this gently just so the food coloring can mix properly. Once you have this mix, we're going to add our candy thermometer. So you want to turn it on. We're going to add it in. And then we're going to turn on our heat to medium high. So now you're just going to wait till this boils and the temperature reaches 280 degrees. As you can see, it's already starting to boil. You just want to leave it, not mix it at all. It took around three to four minutes to start boiling like this. So remember, you just want to wait till your candy thermometer says 280 to 85 max. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do now, this is done. I'm going to remove my thermometer. Let's see if you can see really quick. Uh, let me turn it on. It's going down, but it was at 285. So now I'm going to turn off my flames. And we're going to let that sit. So you actually want to let this sit so you see like the bubbles is starting to clear. And it's looking a little more smoother. So maybe like a minute. Okay guys, so this has been sitting for... A minute you see the way it looks and how it cleared so now what you want to do is tilt it we're gonna come with our apple and we're just gonna rotate it make sure you get every corner look at that you dip it like maybe twice to three times so I can get that all that candy then you want to spin it and then we're going to come and put it on our parchment paper just like that and we're going to do that to all of them oh, I can't wait and then what you're going to do after you do this is you're going to let it sit for 15 to 20 minutes or maybe so the candy hardens and then you can eat this Mm -mm -mm. 
So I want to bring it a little more so I can get even the top. And now I'm going to put it down. Just like that. See? Now I'm going to do that to all of them. Okay, guys. So this is the way it looks. So now I'm going to let this sit 15 to 20 minutes or to the candy hardens. And then we're going to come and enjoy this deliciousness. I'm going to make it closer so you can see the way it looks. Okay guys, so it's been 15 minutes since my candy apple's been sitting. Now I'm going to come with a spoon and you're just going to tap. When you hear it like this, you know it's ready to eat. So now what I'm going to do is just pull on the stick until it comes up. You see? And that's it. That's a candy apple. I want to thank you for watching. If you guys have any questions or comments that you would like to leave, leave them in the comment section below. And like always, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.